Hi, this is Anil from Easy Peasy Gardening. Today I have taken an opportunity to show you a method of growing plants in water. There are, uh, this is a hydroponic, hydro means water, hydroponic system. There are two types of hydroponic. One is forced water, which is circulated along with the oxygen. And this method has been invented by Dr. Karatki in Hawaii. And that is a passive method in which part of the roots are suspended in water to absorb the nutrient and part of the roots are suspended in air so that they can be oxygen. So, so if you would watch this part, this is where we're going to put the plant and the plant is going to uh, grow the roots and the roots will go into this nutrient solution which I'll talk just in a little bit and some of the roots will stay suspended in this net pot and therefore they will be able to absorb oxygen and the other will be able to absorb the nutrients. Now let's talk about the nutrients per se. As you can see this is a tank uh, and this tank it takes approximately 27 officially but since we are 2-3 inches below so I'll say 24 gallons of um, water which is about 24 gallons is about 100 liters of um, water and in this we have put four types of nutrients one is magnesium sulfate which is also popularly known as epsom salt magnesium is very important for the plants to grow their uh, foliage and so this is used one teaspoon in four gallons of water then we have master blend which is a 4 18 38 4 being nitrogen and uh, 18 being uh, phosphorus and 38 being potassium. Potassium is very much needed for the root development. And so this blend we will put half a teaspoon per gallon of water. So there is 24 gallons of water as I said, which is approximately 12 teaspoon of uh, this mixture, uh, which is about 48 grams of uh, master blend. Uh, to balance out the missing nitrogen and also to add calcium we use calcium nitrate which is 1500 15 being the uh, calcium nitrate and no phosphorus and no potash this is also put at the rate of two grams or half a teaspoon per gallon of water so another of 24 grams of uh, this solution okay now when you put this tank one of the important thing to know is that water is going to uh, find its own level so you uh, we have to use some stone or wood or something so that this is a level pot and when we put the water water will roughly stay at the same level and uh, so what what I do is I use a, a spirit level so I just place it here and just check it uh, just look look into the spirit level once look into another direction and generally they should be in the same level so what will happen is when we put the pots here and here and here, they will all be uh, submerged equally. Once you have the solution ready, it's very important to make it, to cover it up with a lid so that not much light will get into the uh, nutrient solution. One of the things that happens if you don't do this is light will go into the nutrient solution and because it's rich in nitrogen, there will be a lot of algae formation in the water. So this is one of the reasons the lid is used. It also helps uh, reduce the evaporation of water into the atmosphere. In my hand, I have uh, a beans plant and two loofah gourd plants. Actually, there are quite a few, but we'll be using two. So we'll put loofah gourd on that side and this side, and we'll put a bean here. It will use this fence as a trellis, and it will spread out, and it will hopefully give us many fruits to enjoy. So now I'll show you how I'm going to prepare the pot. So this is the net pot in which we have placed some bark. On and this we will gingerly place the, place the plant. Because the plant has been rooted in soil medium um, through the seed, I'm going to wash that uh, soil in the water. So some of the trace mineral will also go into the water. So here's a plant. I'm just going to just gingerly separate it out, use the water as a system for dissolving it out and making it easy for, for them to separate it out. So as you can see as the new, 
the soil is washing away the roots are beginning to separate out without much damage now we have the two plants separated out so I'm going to place them here and we'll take first pot and we'll just wet the medium a little bit and then we're going to place it right here and we're going to cover it up a little bit more so that the roots are a little bit protected from the direct sun so now this plant is ready as you can see this plant has been placed inside the roots are right here as you can see some of the roots are visible from the nut pot now they will seek moisture and gravity so they the plants are trained to follow gravity so they will go down and find water so we have the first one ready use this as the second pot so I'm going to fill it up a little bit with bark just to give the initial support to the roots the, eventually the roots will fill up this pot completely so they will not need this bark and bark will actually decompose and become uh, compost itself I'm going to place the second one here nicely and steadily here just like that I'm going to place some bark here. Things are done. We have the second pot ready. Okay. So here is the bean plant. We're going to put this in the net pot too. Uh, just like the previous ones, we'll simply wash away the soil. Soil is no longer needed but the soil's trace mineral will go into this water and slowly slowly supplement the plant with that it will settle down at the bottom so now the plant roots are all free of soil okay so as you can see i've washed this plant and there is probably just a little bit of attached soil or different uh, particles attached i don't want to bother about that because if I remove that, some of the tender uh, roots may be disturbed. So I want to have the minimum trauma for the plant. So we are ready with that. We are going to prepare our net pot. Put some little bit of <coughs> bark. Place this gingerly here and fill it up. Like that. And Like this so now this one is ready okay so I'm going to immerse it in the water just to give it some moisture and now this is done I'm going to place it here now we'll lift this and we'll place it here So as you can see this pot is settled here and that you know as as I take it out you can see there's a little bit of water that drips out and that's indication that's just a small bit of the pot is touching the water we should have the similar status here same water dipping so what we'll do is we'll cover this plant up tomorrow morning uh, with some kind of a dark pot so that at least it has one day of acclimatization the direct sun because the roots have been just disturbed might just be a little bit too much so it has been about three weeks and i wanted to give you a quick update on where we are at in this three weeks as you can see this plant has grown but it has grown very little and each plant behaves a little bit differently so this plant has grown a little bit less this on the other hand has had substantial growth if you uh, if you can see there are many many different uh, branches emerging from this and as is this one this one has become much bigger and now you know the the plant has already established itself and i'm going to show you the roots and how the roots have expanded because once the roots take off the plant growth is substantial 
so let me try to show you the roots by taking it out taking a little bit of effort but as you can see these are a lot of roots none of those roots existed below the pot so these are all the new roots and so the plant is doing really well and all these extra roots means the plant will be able to absorb a lot more nutrient and absorption of more nutrient will lead to better and faster growth so if you have liked this video please click the like button also subscribe to our channel share with your friends and family you can also write your thoughts and comments in the comment section and i will come out with a new uh, post about this progress in in a future video and i'll see you soon